Nelson, alcoholic addict. That's not my real name. That is my pen name that I use here at LOL Sober. The other night, I started itching my lower leg, like really itching my leg, like itching to the point where later that night, one of my kids asked if I had been wrestling with a puma or a bobcat or something in the backyard. Uh, What happened? I have no idea. Uh, It might have been a bug bite or maybe I had a brief allergic reaction that caused a half hour of clawing at my own skin. I don't even know. Uh, But it reminded me of the insanity of addiction because back when I was deep in the woods with with painkillers, I would take so many that I ended up itching and itching and itching my arms and legs to the point where I would be bleeding um, and I couldn't stop. I just couldn't. People would notice too. Like I had been running a scam where everybody in my life knew I was occasionally taking pain medication because of my, uh, I have chronic foot pain. But their definition of occasionally uh, was probably that uh, a few times a week I took painkillers, maybe three times a week. That's probably what they thought. My definition of occasionally was that I would take painkillers a few times per hour. Um, and <laughs> apparently that caused an allergic reaction. But here's the thing. I wasn't actually allergic to painkillers. I didn't have any problems whatsoever when I was taking painkillers, according to a doctor's directions. It was only when I went from, you know, two every four to six hours, when I went to 15 every two hours, (laughs) that's when I had the problems. I I wonder, I wonder if that might have been the issue. (laughs) It was the same thing with alcohol too. I had I never had any problems drinking two or three beers and sometimes even just four or five beers. But shocker, um, I began to have allergic reactions. I'm doing air quotes around allergic. I began to have allergic reactions when I would drink 15 beers and chew a can of Skull and mix in some muscle relaxers and then eat some sketchy, <laughs> some sketchy food at midnight. Like, must be the allergies again. The insanity here is my solution uh, to the painkiller problem. It's insane. This The same as I always did. That was my solution, which is I did not change the behavior at all. I just added in some like wacky remedies that I came up with myself. Like for the itching, I began to take Benadryl way more than the package said, just as much Benadryl as I wanted. And I also started to buy Benadryl cream and put it all over my hands and my my legs. And um, God, I, I spent some nights nodding off on the couch while also just like oozing cream all over the cushions. <laughs> just so gross. Oh, my God. And on nights where I got really drunk, I didn't do the obvious thing, which is like maybe try the only, only drinking two to three beers, like always, you know, didn't cause any problems when I did that. No, that would have been, it would have been too easy to do that. So instead I tried periodically eating a piece of bread between beers. So, um, I drink a beer or two, eat a piece of bread, drink it, drink a couple more beers, eat another piece of bread, drink some vodka, eat a piece of bread. And so by midnight on many days, I, I would have had like 10 beers and a couple of shots mixed with like eight pieces of bread in my stomach, just like a loaf of bread. Like that will, that will, instead of slowing down on the alcohol, why don't I soak it up with just a, just a brick of bread? (laughs) Guess what? Yeah. Stunning news. I usually ended up hugging the toilet bowl even worse than without that brilliant solution. Oh God, I'm so glad I don't live like that anymore. I know this edition of my newsletter isn't the most helpful, um, other than, geez, I'm, so happy that this isn't what my life is like in sobriety but hey sometimes that is the best kind of help isn't it that we do not have to live like that anymore so thank you for letting me share